Have you ever wondered why people journal? You've probably heard it's good for you, but not sure why. But if the word journaling conjures up... Dear diary, today I had the most delightful evening, a most excellent ball. Oh, my dear, I am quite delighted with Mr. Chattingworth. He is so excessively handsome. He is just what a young man ought to be. Sensible, lively, good-humoured, and I never saw such happy manners. Then it's understandable that you haven't started. Hello friends and subscriber family, I'm Anise Kizzelbash and today I'm going to share with you nine surprising benefits of journaling and why it's a powerful tool for personal growth. Let's go. Journaling is a mindful practice. <laughs> Frustrations from the past or anxieties about the future fall away. They lose their grip because you are active in the present moment. It also helps call that wandering mind to attention by pointing it and focusing on something. So instead of passively and unconsciously letting your thoughts go, you are actively focusing and paying attention to them, which all embody the spirit of mindfulness. Journaling can spark your creativity. It lets you explore uncharted thoughts and emotions and ideas. Getting your thoughts down on paper leaves space for inspiration to come through. See, your brain is meant for coming up with ideas, not for holding on to them. So get those ideas out of your head to allow space for more to flow through. Also, writing on paper helps you examine your ideas from different perspectives. It's more liberating than doing it on an app or a keyboard, where the, where cursor, the cursor blinks at you, judging you. Or the delete button, button, button beckons button. you desperately. <sighs> Journaling helps you keep track of your ideas, inspiration, quotes, thoughts, so you can come back to them later. They might be just scribbles here and there, but when you look back at them over a period of time and you connect the dots, it could turn into a powerful idea that you wouldn't see before. But because you have a different perspective, you can see it. And it's also great for brainstorming, ideating, and just letting your mind wander. Journaling strengthens your self-discipline. Setting time aside to write is an act of discipline, and discipline begets discipline. It's like a muscle. The more you practice it, the stronger it gets. And according to Charles Duhigg in his book, Power of Habits, when you form a habit in one area of your life, it can have this wonderful contagious effect to spread in other areas of your life. For example, keeping your work area clean. When you do that, you're more likely to keep your bedroom tidy. Equally, your new daily discipline of keeping and writing a journal will domino into creating other healthy habits. It can boost your productivity. A study at Michigan State University shows that expressive writing helps calm down the mind. Findings show that when you get these worries out of your head through expressive writing, those cognitive resources are freed up so you can work on the task you're completing more effectively. Imagine you're walking down the street with a rucksack of heavy stones. You will expend more calories, more energy walking with those heavy stones. If you remove those stones and you walked with the lighter load, it'll take you less energy and you will walk further. That's kind of how journaling can help you. So yeah, journaling, get your thoughts out on paper, free up your mind so you can drive faster. Journaling can boost your confidence. A good journal is like fine wine. We should finish the whole bottle. True, but that's not the adage I had in mind. A good journal gets better with age. Just like my wife, when you start journaling after a few years, when you can look back and get perspective on how far you've come. Today, I learned how to pronounce meme. Gives you a tremendous boost of confidence. It also makes you grateful for everything you've had. And you can look back and experience and revisit those joyful moments again. Life is all about the journey, not the destination. Also, writing honestly is a form of self-acceptance. The more you write honestly, the more you accept yourself. And then the more confident you can become about expressing yourself. It helps you achieve your goals. One of the things you can do in journaling is write about dreams and ambitions. And, and I understand the idea of scribbling 
scribbling down your goal seems a bit silly, but would you build a house without an architectural blueprint? So why not build a blueprint for your life? Journaling also helps you spot the patterns of thinking that are holding you back, that stop you from progressing to achieve your goals. For example, if you believe that self-care is a weakness, you won't make time for it, you will overwork, burn yourself out, and therefore take longer to achieve your goals. It can help you with problem solving and decision making. If you journal for long enough, can maybe complain or write about the same thing over and over again, you can see the pattern and the self-awareness will move you towards action. Because you can't change what you can't see. You'll naturally start to look for solutions, make changes to move forward. Journaling boosts your mood. Do you want more joy in your life? Journaling can improve your mood and give you this overall sense of emotional well-being. A UCLA study shows that the emotional center of the brain was less active while journaling. So what this means is when that's calmed down a bit, your chances of experiencing anxiety decreases as well. And when you decrease the anxiety, the feelings of joy naturally emerge. And also brain scans show that writing about emotional experiences helps to regulate that emotion so it doesn't take over you and that helps you feel calmer. It's a safe space to be fully you. We're living through an interesting time where you need to censor yourself. Not because you're a bad person, maybe we're just worried about offending people. Not that you have any intention to do any harm, but that doesn't seem to matter anymore. It seems to be matter more how the message is received. But anyway, editing and centering yourself all the time is ig Exhausting. So a journal is a safe space. It'll free you up from thinking of what you should say and how, what you shouldn't say and how you should be. But journaling isn't always easy. From the time we start school, we're told that writing is either something that you do right or something you do wrong. Then it's about pleasing others and it's about doing whatever you can to avoid that dreaded red pen. So watch this video next to learn a simple way to start journaling. You see, many people end up locked and stifled when it comes to journaling. However, on the other side of journaling is power. So watch this episode to get started. Thanks for watching. I'm Annie Skizzlebash. Any comments, thoughts, or ahas, please type in the comments below. And Lawrence, thank you so much for asking this question. I really appreciate you.